Hi everyone. So I've avoided in these vlogs prior to today any mention of the Mies regulations relating to energy performance in commercial properties. There's been so much commentary online, it's almost appeared unoriginal to do so, but I will now mention them as it's as topical as it can be with the new regulations coming in on the Saturday after this vlog, 1st of April 2023. From that date, it will become unlawful to continue to let any commercial property with an EPC rating of F or G without a permitted exemption. And I'll come on to permitted exemptions in a bit. Where the Mies regulations apply, landlords must hold a valid EPC at all times to demonstrate that the property has the requisite EPC rating of E or higher. Now that means not only that it is unlawful to continue to let with an F or G rating, but also that if an EPC expires during the term of the lease, there is now A, an obligation to obtain a new one, and B, that new one must have an E rating or above. Now, that unlawfulness does not mean that the lease is somehow invalid. It is still valid and enforceable, and the landlord and tenant must continue to comply with their covenants in the lease. Tenants that are leasing property, uh, taking a lease of property with an F or G rating must continue to pay rent and all other payments, and it won't be possible to terminate the lease on the grounds of non-compliance with Mies regulations. Likewise, the landlord can't require the tenant to vacate the property. What the unlawfulness means is penalties for the landlord for non-compliance. Where a commercial landlord continues to rent a substandard property, a penalty notice could be issued with fines uh, of up to £150,000 and the size of the fine will depend on the rateable value of the property and the length of breach of the regulation. So there are some exclusions and exemptions. Short leases of less than six months with no right of renewal and long leases of over 99 years are excluded from the Mies regulations so there is no need to provide an EPC there to the tenant. A temporary six month exemption may apply where a person suddenly becomes a landlord, becomes a new landlord of a property with an EPC rating of below E. Additionally, the following key exemptions apply to commercial property and they last for five years. First, what's called the seven year payback exemption. So where a landlord can show that the cost of implementing a recommended uh, improvement is actually greater than the expected energy bills savings over seven years. Secondly, an all improvements made exemption. So where all the recommended energy efficiency imp uh, improvements have been made to the property, but the EPC remains below E. Thirdly, the consent issue, uh, where implementing a recommendation requires the landlord first to get consent from a third party, such as the local authority or superior landlord. Uh, and fourthly, what's called the devaluation exemption, where an independent surveyor advises that the installation of specific energy efficiency measures would reduce the market value of the property by over 5%. Any of those exemptions must be registered on the private rented sector exemptions register by the landlord and they'll only be valid from the point of registration on that register. Those exemptions are effectively personal, they can't be passed to a new owner or landlord. So the new owner or landlord would have to apply for the exemption all over again. It goes almost without saying that when carrying out Mies improvements, landlords will need to liaise with tenants and comply with any consent requirements in the lease 
uh, regarding entry. Now, it may be the case that the cost of uh, improvements, uh, MEES improvements, could be claimed by the landlord under specific lease clauses or under service charge recovery clauses in the lease. But that ability can only be a creature of the lease contract. The landlord can't foist the obligation or the cost on the tenant under any statutory provision. Now, the focus on minimum energy efficiency standards is not going away and will only sharpen in the future. There was a government consultation a couple of years ago which proposed a minimum EPC rating of C or above by 2027 and B or above by 2030. Comply or die. See you all in two weeks.